<coughs> Magandang hapon sa ating lahat. Good afternoon to each and every one. Hello, Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Start na tayo, ha? Share, share ko lang yung screen natin. Uh, share ko lang yung PowerPoint. <clears throat> Once again, good afternoon and welcome to General Mathematics Module Number 10. So the, the title of Day Number 10, it is all about the solving and graph of the given exponential function. And we have three targets for today. We're going to differentiate exponential equations and exponential inequality and exponential function and we're going to solve exponential equations and inequalities naman and after that we're going to graph so same goes with day number eight so same process then on how to plot the coordinates of the given equation of the exponential functions madali lang yun so say uh, kung anong ginawa natin doon sa day number eight on how to graph just simply give your any number doon sa value ng x yun po yung uh, pag-graph natin mamaya then substitute substitute lang po yun so let's have a quick review first and we're going to find the value of the y intercept so we need to express f of x into y so y is equal to 2 3x plus 1 so we're going to let x is equal to 0 because we're going to find the value of y intercept. Then y is equal to 2, 3 raised to 0, uh, 2 raised to 3 raised to 0, uh, 3 times 0 plus 1. Then y is equivalent to, what is 3 times 0? 0 plus 1, 1. 1. Then y is equal to 2. If ever na hindi lumabas sa uh, multiple choice ang 2 and nakaka-coordinate siya that should be 0, 2 and what is the asymptote of our given equation exponential equation answer zero. No. the asymptote is 0 so next we're going to get the inverse of the exponential function first step first step is let f of x is equal to y y is equal to 2 then 3x plus 1. Alright? Afterwards, we're going to interchange po, no? x is equal to 2. Then 3y plus 1. Afterwards, we're going to <clears throat> add logarithm or lag na po siya kasi we're going to express exponential function. We're going to get the inverse of the exponential function. So lag with the base of 2. Oh, sorry, sorry, mali log just simply add log base of 2 copy then wala na naman yung video ko sa kabila then we have log log with the base of 2 then copy ulit yung ating 2 3y plus 1 syempre ibababa natin yung exponent we have log x with the base of 2 is equivalent to 3y plus 1. Ah, wait lang ha. Oh, I-open ko lang yung isa kong device. Nawala na naman. Para ma-admit ko yung mga nag-join na hindi, walang pin ma-add. So, kailangan ko silang i-admit. Ah, hindi na makapasok. Yeah. So, 3y plus 1. Then, copy na lang po yung log. Copy log. Wait lang ha. Inano ko itong ano akong device. Log 2 with a base of 2. Again, what is log 2 with a base of 2? What is the answer? 1. 1. one. So, you, need, you don't need to write log 2 with a base of 2. Just simply <clears throat> write 1 or just copy 3y plus 1 lang. Magiging 3y plus 1 po yan. And then copy log x with a base of 2. Again, we need to 
transpose 1 to the other side. Kulang na yung space natin. <laughs> Lagay ko dito. Then, our answer here should be log x with a base of 2, then minus 1, then matitira si 3y. And divide by 3, kasi kailangan natin hanapin yung inverse niya. So, dapat y yung last po. We need to eliminate 3 para maging inverse na po. Or negative 1. So, the answer here is f raised to negative 1 of x is equivalent to log x with the base of 2 minus 1 all over 3. So, ganyan po yung ginawa natin nung day number 8. Tama? Hello? Ganyan ba yung ginawa natin nung day number 8? Yes, po, yes, sir. Yes, po. Yes, de vera. Sir, di ba mara may ano, may may dalawa pa ang pwedeng ilagay na sagot yung mga other option kung paano. Yeah, meron Basta, po. Basta, example, yung kunyari, one yung nauna kaysa lag, pwede po yun, sir, di ba? Pwede po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Wala. Parang yung ganito, yung ginawa natin sa ano yun, yung pinakita ko. Ito no? Ito yun, ano, Miss Devera. Ito yun. Kita mo na, so, yes, stop. ito yun. Ito yung tatlong way on how to solve. Meron tayong, ay, yung final answer. Pwedeng log x with a base of 3 minus 2 or yung negative 2, lagay mo sa harap, magiging negative 2 plus log x with a base of 3 or log x with a base of 3 na parenthesis yung x minus 2. Pwede po yan. Alright? Clear po ba tayo? Hello? Yes, sir. So, okay na tayo sa 8, no? Dito tayo sa... Oh, we're done with the review naman. So, here are the theorems when it comes to exponential. If you have a same na base, kapag meron kang same na base po, just like this, you're going to add the <coughs> exponent. Nyari, x2 plus x3. Yan. I mean, hindi pala yung plus, sorry. It's multiplication. Pag plus bawal. Kasi different exponent. So, what is x2 times x3? Answer? X5. Answer? X5. Just x3. X5. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, we're going to add the exponent. And if you have a, a, if you have a function, a fraction rather, you're going to subtract r minus s. Example, 10 raised to 5 all over 10 raised to 3. So, what is 10 raised to 5 all over 10 raised to 3? Answer? 10 to? 10 raised to 2. Okay, next. If you have 5 as a base, then 5 raised to 3. Then, quantity of 5 raised to 3 raised to 2. Answer? 5, 5 6. 5 raised to 5. 5 raised to 6. You're going to multiply exponent to exponent. Alright? How about this? We have, going to write here, x, y, raised to 6. What is x, y raised to 6? Answer? x raised to 6, y raised to 6. x raised to 6, y raised to 6. Okay, next. a, b, or fraction a all over b raised to 3, I raised to r. So, bigay tayo ng example, x all over y raised to 3. So, simple lang po, just multiply or distribute exponent numerator to denominator. So, x cube all over y cube gets, na gets po? Yes, sir. Alright, so next is, dito na tayo sa exponential equation. Again, when we say uh, exponential equation, of course, hindi po nawawala ang exponent kasi sabi niya doon, exponential. Exponent. And then, equation, equal, equal, equal. So, meron tayong equal. Meron siyang equal. Meron siyang exponent. So, yan po yung ating balatandaan, ha? Wait lang. Yes? Iyan po lang yung charger ko sa laptop. Baka mamatayan tayo ng laptop. Ano yan? May tanong ba? 
you have any questions po? Or napindot lang yung ano? May nag-raise na yung hand. Okay, proceed na tayo. Baka napindot lang. So next po, punta tayo sa... Yeah, kunin ko lang yung white. This is white? Oh, yan. Baka white na. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dito, uh, solving exponential equation, kunin nyo yung pinakamababang base. Ang pinakamababang base dito is 4. So, ibaba natin yung 4, copy the exponent, x minus 1 is equivalent to na yun, yung 16. Gagawa natin siya ng <coughs> i- if factor natin siya using exponent. If you're going to simplify 16, dapat yung goal natin dito is maging parehas niya so yung base na 4 para ma-eliminate natin. So, ano kaya yung base ng 16 na ang base niya is 4 and then equivalent pa rin siya sa 16? Answer? 4 raised four to 2. Raised four, two. Four. 4 raised to 2. Tama? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, wait lang. May, may nag-join. Hindi ko na-accept. Yun. Yan, na-accept ko na. Next. So, parehas na sila ng base. Kapag parehas na sila ng base, you're going to eliminate na po yung base. So, since the base is already eliminated, you're going to bring down the exponent of both sides. So, x minus 1 is equivalent to 2. Then, you're going to find the value of x now. You're going to transpose negative 1 to the other side. And that will be 2 plus 1. And then the answer here is x is equal to 3. And that is the final answer. Get? Hello? Yes, coach. Okay. Next, example number 2. We have the fraction 1 all over 100 is equivalent to 10 raised to x. So, we're going to follow the base of 10 para hindi tayo mahirapan kasi fraction yun eh. Mas mahirapan tayo kapag ang follow natin is yung uh, 1 all over 100. So, just copy 10 all over x and 1 all over 100, we're going to simplify 1 all over 100 in the form of 10 all over x. Parang ganyan daw. Gagayahin natin yung 10 all over x. So, we have 1 all over 100 if you're going to convert 1 all over 100 in this form, so what is the possible answer? Answer? 10 raised to 10. Very good. It's 10 raised to negative 2. Why? So last time, we discussed the negative exponent rule. If you have 3 raised to negative 1, the answer is 1 third. If you have 3 raised to negative 2, the answer is 1 all over 9. Why? This is negative. For you to be able to eliminate the negative exponent, you're going to conduct, uh, parang ano siya, babalik ta rin mo siya, reciprocal, parang ganoon. So, 3 raised to negative 2, yung negative 2 na yan, lagay mo sa denominator, pero, uh, magiging, yung negative 2, parang mapapalitan siya ng 1. So, tingnan nyo tong negative 1, napalitan siya ng 1 dito, and still 3 pa rin siya, pero naging fraction na. So, yung 3 raised to negative 2 naman, kung papansin ninyo, naging 1 all over 9. Yung negative 2, para ma-eliminate yung negative, pupunta yung negative 2 sa baba. Pero, may matitirang 1 sa taas, which is 1 raised to 3, 1 all over 3 raised to 2. So, parang ganyan siya. So, negative 2, binaba ko siya, naging positive 2 na, pero ang final answer is 1 all over 9. Kasi 3 squared siya. So, parang 3 times 3. So, yun po yun. Kaya, yung 10 raised to negative 2, magiging ayaw yung 1 all over 100 is equivalent to 10 raised to negative 2. Kasi nga, negative yan, ibig sabihin, kapag if you're going to express 10 raised to negative 2 into fraction, the answer is 1 all over 100. Okay? Kaya po, same na sila ng base, so we can eliminate na po the base, which is the 10. Then that is the final answer now, which is negative 2 is equal to x. Gets po? Hello? So that... Yes, Okay na po? Yes po, sir. Ang kayo ah. Okay nga, antok-antok dyan. Okay, next. Siyempre, if follow natin dito agad is yung 4, yung smallest base. Just copy. 4 raised to 2x minus 1 is equivalent to 1. What is the exponent of 64? Because they are divisible by 4, yung 64. 4 raised to, what will be the exponent of 4 para mag-equal siya sa 64? Answer? 3. It's 3. three. Why? Uh, three. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 
then we can eliminate the face then uh, then bring down the exponent then the, the answer will be 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 then don't forget that we're going to transpose negative 1 to the other side para, para makuha natin yung value ng x then 3 plus 1 then 2x is equivalent to 4 and in order for us to know the value of x we need to apply the division property of equality divide both sides by 2 then the answer here is x is equal to 2 and that is the final answer now question hello do you have any questions po? naintindihan po ba? hello po? yes po sir yes po okay na yan yes, po, okay na to okay, next na so we have 2 raised to 5x is equal to 4 2x minus 1 so ang pinaka smallest base is 2 so 5x is equivalent to Gawin na natin siyang 2 raised to 2, then multiply natin siya sa 2x minus 1. Okay? So, meron po tayong 2 sa exponent ng 2 kasi nga yung 4 is equivalent to 2 raised to 2. Then, we can eliminate now the base. Then, bring down 5x. And then, what is 2 times 2x? Answer? 4x. 4x. Then, 2 times negative 1? Negative 2. 2. Then we can transpose 4x to the other side, 4, 5x minus 4x, then copy negative 2. Okay, this is equal, huh? So that's why negative 4x. What is 5x minus 4x? The answer is x. Then bring down negative 2. And final answer for our present example. <clears throat> Go. Sir, can you bring it back sa, ano, 1 over 10? Ay, 100. Halimutan ko yung screenshot kasi. Okay. Okay na? Okay, doggy, sir. Thank you po. Okay, next is, yeah, here. Oh, medyo mahila. 8 raised to 3x is equivalent to 1 fourth x plus 1. Yan. So, since naka 1 fourth siya, gawin na natin muna siyang whole number. So, copy muna natin yung 8, 3x. 8, 3x, no? Is equivalent to 1 fourth. The 1 fourth is to make it a negative, uh, to make it a whole number. Just simply express our answer uh, in a negative form or the negative exponent form. So, magiging 4 raised to negative 1. Again, what is 4 raised to negative 1? 1 all over 4. Five all over Same na po. So, okay na yun, So, I hope nagigets niyo po yung point ko dyan. That's why we have 4 raised to negative 1 here. Then, next, you're going to copy x plus 1. Yan. So, hindi pa sila parehas na base. We need to eliminate, I mean, we need to express the base into uh, same base. Okay? So, hindi pwede maging 4 si 8 kasi nga, hindi po, wala namang hindi naman pwedeng 4 raised to 2 kasi ang 4 raised to 2 is 16. So, ibababa natin yung 8 pati yung 4 kasama. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito is ang possible answer is 2 and then 2 para magpareha sila ng base. So, since nag-down tayo into smallest prime number which is 2, then the answer will be 2 raised to 3. Tama po? Nag-guess you ba? If, why is it 2 raised to 3? Because we are following the 8. Why? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Or 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Gets po? Hello? Sundan? Yes, sir. Then copy yes, what? Sir. We're going to copy 3x. Copy 3x. Then, dito po, sa kabila is, since meron tayong 4 is to negative 1, so meron tayong original na negative 1, at meron na namang 2. So, lagyan na natin yung 2 pala. Sorry, sorry. So, yung 2 muna. negative uh, 2 plus merong negative 1 tapos x plus 1. So kahit i-distribute mo na yun agad, okay lang. Walang uh, same pa rin ang lalabas na sagot. Okay? So now, we can eliminate the base since parehas na sila. Then what is 3 raised to 3x? Ay, what is 3 times 3x? 9x. 9x. The answer is 9x. What is 2 times negative 1? 
negative 2 negative 2 times 2x ay negative 2 times x negative 2x negative 2x 2x then negative 2 times 1 negative 2 negative 2 and now we're going to transpose negative 2 to the other side and negative 2x will become positive 2x and same lang po si negative 2 since hindi natin siya tinranspose then 9x plus 2x that will be 11x that will 11x. be 11x is equal to negative 2 to eliminate or to find the uh, to get the value of x we need to divide both sides by 11 and the final answer here is negative 2 all over 11 gets po Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, next. Next example, we have 16 raised to negative x is equal to 1 all over 64. Then, the smallest here is 16. But, hindi naman pwedeng mag 16 raised to 2 tayo dito. Tama? Ang six, what is 16 raised to 2? Is it 64? No. Oh, sir, no. No. So, ibig sabihin, gayahin natin yung ginawa natin doon sa 8 and 1 fourth. So, first, copy 16 muna. Copy muna natin yung 16 minus x, then express 1 all over 64 into negative exponent form. So, what is 1 all over 64? 64 raised to negative 1. Negative 1. 64 raised to negative 1. 64 raised to negative 1. And now... So, what is our base na kung saan magiging pareha si 16 at 64? Isip kayo. 4 po. Very good. 4. 4. four. four. I'm going to write 4 here. Raise to what? 2. 2. 2, negative x. Diba may negative x? Hello? Gets po? Yes, sir. Yes, so, next. sir. So, sabi nyo kanina, 4 ang parehas, uh, say, uh, para maging parehas na sila ng base, so, 4 ang gagamitin ko. So, ano yung magiging exponent ng ating 64? 3. Times? 3. Times? Negative? Negative 1. Negative 1. Then, cancel? Cancel. Then, what is 2 times negative x? Negative? 2x. Negative 2x. Next is 3 times negative 1. Negative? Negative 3. Negative 3. Then, eliminate negative 2 para makuha natin yung value ng x. Answer? 3 all over. Yeah, positive 3 over. Gets po. Sundan. Yes po sir. Okay, yes next. po sir. Let's move on to inequalities naman. Oh, wait lang. Sarap lang tayo. So inequalities, medyo mahirap na tayo dito. Wala na naman yung isa kong device sa phone. Wala yung ating signal. So we're done with equation again. When it comes to exponential equation, the symbol is, is always equal. Kapag nakakita kayo ng equal sign, it talks about the exponential equation. Equation. But if we have inequalities, exponential inequalities, ang makikita yung symbol dyan is greater than, less than. And aside from that, we have the less than or equal to. And we have the greater than or equal to. And we have four inequalities, one, two, three, and four. Again, this are, these are the symbol for inequalities. But when it comes to exponential equation, the symbol, uh, the symbol is equal lang siya. But when it comes to inequalities, we have four, and that will be uh, greater than, less than, and we have the equal to. So, apat yan. So, we have the properties that we need to remember para mas maintindihan natin siya ng mabuti. No? So, when it comes to... Uh, the base is greater than 1, we're going to retain. Again, if the base is greater than 1 and the inequality symbol is retained. For example, the base is 4 and 4 is greater than 1. We're going to retain the inequality. The inequality used is greater than, then that's it. Okay? And uh, otherwise, if the base is less than 1, I repeat, if the base is less than 1, then the direction of the inequality is reverse. I repeat, sir, paano pag ang binigay doon sa base ko is 1 half, then that's the time that you're going to reverse the inequality. If the original question here of the exponential inequalities is 
greater than you're, you're going to reverse it into less than because according to the property of exponential inequalities if you have less than one you're going to reverse it but if if it is greater than one the base is greater than one just retain so mas mamaya mas maintindihan ninyo yung ibig sabihin nun. then aside from that we have a rules when it comes to solving inequalities if the same real number is added or subtracted hindi po magche-change yung ating inequality okay it, hindi rin po siya magche-change ng ng inequalities if it is inequality are multiplied by or divided by the same positive real number okay i repeat if it is same positive real number for example we have 2x is equal to uh 2x is equal to 3 then you need to divide it by 2 do not change the inequality why because the real number is the same po real number po na positive po siya okay paano siya magche-change sir if you divide both sides the negative real number and that's the time you're going to change the inequality again that's the time that you're going to change the inequality right for example negative 3x is equal to 5 you're going to divide by negative 3 then the symbol is you're going and then the inequality is greater than or equal to but you need to divide both sides by negative 3 and that's the time you're going to change it then the answer here should be x is equivalent to less than to it will become less if it's greater than then that will be less than okay 5 all over 3 so as you can see dinivide ko po so siya sa negative nag change po yung inequality okay kasi baka may ma-encounter kayong ganyang kaso Kaya, binigyan ko ng diin kahit wala sa module ninyo. Okay, tignan natin. If we have number 1, 3 raised to 20, and the inequality used was greater than, is rather, is greater than, then 243 raised to x. Then, kung ano yung ginawa natin kanina, gayahin lang natin yung concept niya. So, we have, para mag-same sila, dapat, ang goal natin dito, is mag-same sila ng base. Okay, so we have 3 raised to 20, then this is greater than 243x. So, mano-mano tayo dito or trial and error. So, what is the exponent of 243? Na ang base niya is 3. Okay? So what 3 or 3 raised to the power 5. Okay, very good. 3 raised to 5, then copy the value of x, which is the exponent x. Okay, so same sila ng base. Then, papabariin na natin yung exponent. So, 20, then greater than 5x. So, para makuha natin yung value ng ating uh, x, divide both sides by 5. Then, the answer here is, no, it's not equal to 4 because we're, we're in the uh, inequalities na. Just copy the original, which is 4 is, I mean, x is greater than 4. Sir, paano po basahin ito? Hindi po siya 4 is greater than x. Mali po from right to left ka magbasa. So, x, babalik ta rin mo yan, magiging x is greater than, I mean, less than 4. So, this is the same with this form. Yung 4 na may greater than x, ang pagbabasa po is x less than 4. Gets po? Hello? Sundan po? Sundan nyo ba yan? Yes. Baka palitan yes, nyo yes, siyang basahin eh. And then, kung tingnan mo yung ang technique ng pagkuha ng solution set, ganito. Pagkukunin yung solution set niya, kung saan po nakaharap yung bunga nga o yung tip, yung pinaka-tip. Yan, ganyan. Ito yung tip. O kunyari, yan yung pinaka-tip niya. Kung nasaan po yung tip niya, ibig sabihin, nandoon si, nandoon si, uh, um, tawag dito, infinity. And sabi niya dito kasi, x is less than. So, lahat ng less than, uh, lahat ng numbers pwede na bababa sa 4, ibig sabihin 3, 2, 1, 0, negative. So, kasama si negative infinity, pero yung 4, ilalagay natin dyan using this symbol. Sir, bakit po ang ginamit nyo po dyan is parenthesis? Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng parenthesis, not included? Okay? So, the meaning of parenthesis is not included. Okay? 
Sir, what is bracket? Kapag bracket po ang ginamit, ibig sabihin, included. Okay? So, what are the symbols of included equation? So, ang symbol po yan is, in, symbol ng inequality niya is yung mayroon siyang equal. If it is not included, ang ginagamit niya is less than, greater than. I repeat, in this case, since less than po yung ating ginamit, so we're going to follow the parenthesis po. Ibig sabihin, for is not included. That's why I use here, ginamit ko po yung parenthesis. That, anong tawag natin dito, sir? Solution set. Okay? So, ang anong answer natin sa x, ay yung solving inequalities, x less than 4. Solution set, hinanapan kayo ng solution set that will be negative infinity 4. Saan yung bunga nga? Paharap sa left. That's why we have negative infinity. Sir, paano pag humarap sa right? O di positive infinity po. Okay? Then, depende po yan. I mean, pag nakaharap sa right, sir, ibig sabihin yung infinity nasa right side po. Since naka, yung bunga nga niya is nakaharap sa left, kaya yung infinity natin nasa left. But, negative siya because of the word less than. Of the inequalities, less than. So, I hope na gigets po yung aking uh, ibig sabihin para mas maintindihan natin. So, we have 3x plus 1, another example. Example number 2. So, 3 raised to x plus 1 and we have greater than. So, palitan ko lang yung kulay niya. Palitan natin ng white. So, bring down 3x plus 1. Then, copy the inequality greater than. Then, what is the base of 81, or should I say the base of 81 should be 3, and what is the possible exponent to make it 81? Four. The answer is 4. Four. Thank you so much. Your answer Four. is correct. So we can now eliminate the base, then just bring down x plus 1, copy the inequality, which is greater than 4. Now, we're going to transpose 1 to the other side, and x is equivalent to 4 minus 1. And the answer here is x greater than 3. Saan po? Uh, kukunin na natin yung ating solution set. So, what is the solution, solution set? Saan po nakaharap? Saan po nakaharap? Sa 3. 3. Saan po nakaharap? Yung, sa 3. Tama. So, ibig sabihin three. yung positive infinity nasa right. Tama po? Tama? Yes, sir. So, ilagay yes, dito. Positive infinity, then we have 3. Is it bracket or parenthesis? Parenthesis. Parenthesis. Why is it parenthesis? Dahil ang ginamit ko is more than. greater than lang. Or more than. Okay? Gets po? Gets po? Hello? Yes po, sir. Yes. <coughs> okay, gamit naman tayo ng inequality na less than or equal to. Guys, last na to kasi may meeting kami ha. Pasensya na. Tuloy ko na lang ha. Tapusin ko lang to ha. Tinatawag na ako eh. Sagutin ko lang to guys ha. May meeting kami ngayon. Nasa school ko to eh. So, 2, copy 2, 4x plus 1, copy less than or equal to. So, what is the base? Of 512, I mean, since 2, we're going to follow the base 2. So, what is the possible exponent para maging 512? Answer? 9. nine. Very good. It's 9. So, cancel, cancel. Bring down 4x plus 1. Then, less than or equal to 9. Then, yung 1, pupunta sa kabila. 4x less than or equal to 9 minus 1. Then, this is 4x is equal to 8. Then, divide 4, divide 4. x is equal to... 2. Or x is equal to less than or equal to. So, what is the inequality used? Less than or equal less to. Than. So, saan nakaharap? Less than. Saan nakaharap? Oh, sa sa, sa two. Left, so and, 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 negative and, and, infinity. Then, we have two. 2. So, what Positive. is the sign? Is it parenthesis or bracket? Bracket. 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 Very good. Why is it bracket? Because of the inequality na Less than or equal to. Gets? Na gets? Yes. yes. Go ahead. Ano yun, Mark? Ano yun? Sir, wala activity. Wala, wala muna. Hindi, hindi muna yung gagawin kasi mayroon na yung dalawa, di ba? 
hindi wala muna kayong ipapasa na activity. Okay? May tanong ba sa ating last example? Meron pa to ah, pero kailangan ako sa meeting eh. So tapusin ko na lang sa susunod. Ha? Sir, pasu nga sir. Ano 'yan? Pasu po. Yung so, next. No, next. Yan po example. sir. Oh, meron pa oh. Oh. Meron pa tayong tatlo. Mas mahirap 'yan. Para pag sinagutan na yung module ninyo, hindi na kayo mahirapan. Okay? So, puputulin ko muna yung ating discussion ha, kasi kailangan na ako dun. Okay, at least may natutulong Sir, kayo. Yes, ano yun? Next, itutuloy po ba natin yung discussion next time or ngayon din? Okay. Or, Pwede ko ang tuloy sa face-to-face, pwede. Sige po. Okay. Thank you po. Okay, pasensya na, kailangan ako sa meeting. That's all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you po, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you.